this video I'm going to show you how to make infinity scarf in 30 minutes. So let's start. You are going to need two bundles of yarns. I'm using this brand. And uh, if you want your scarf chunky like mine is, you want to go with this one which is number 6, super bulky. And other than that, you're only going to need a pair of scissors and your own body. Yes, yeah, so we're going to use our arms to make this scarf as crazy as it sounds, it's going to turn out great. So we're going to take one tip from each bundle and we're going to use them together to knit our scarf. So here are the two yarns for uh, that we are going to use for knitting. So what you want to do here is to leave a tail for this scarf. So you're just going to take here about 5 or 6 feet. That depends on how many stitches you're going to do. I'm going to do 10. So I'm leaving 5 feet, about 5 feet here as a tail. So this is going to be our tail right here and we're going to start by making a knot like this. And here I just formed my first stitch and I'm going to put my hands through it and I'm going to put that on my arm. I'm going to push that up a little bit and we are going to start making the other stitches. So this is my work yarn right here and this is my tail, okay? So work yarn and tail on the other side and I'm gonna put both of my thumb and my index finger within like that and I'm gonna go under and over like that to form the stitches. It's gonna be the same thing until I have 10 of them. So again, slowly. This is how you're gonna make your first stitches. Here I already have 10 of my stitches, so I'm going to stop here. I'm just going to make sure I have the amount that I wanted and then I'm going to start uh, passing the stitches to the other hand. So again, this is my tail and this is my work yarn right here. So I'm going to uh, hold my work yarn like that and I'm going to pull the stitch over it and pull the work yarn through it to form an, a new loop that's gonna go to the other hands, to the other arm. And I'm just gonna try to tighten it up a little bit. And I'm gonna hold the work yarn like that and do the same thing. So I'm just gonna pull the stitch over it, pull the work yarn through, make a loop, put on the next, uh, on the other arm. And I'm gonna continue doing that until I'm done with all the stitches. And this move right here is the same, exact same move that you're going to be doing all the way until you get to the last row of stitches for your scarf. So it's going to be basically the same thing. You're just going to go from one arm to the other. But I'm going to be making this move many, many times. I'm going to be showing you many times so you make sure you got it. And again, we are using the work yarn, okay, don't confuse that with the tail, the tail is going to be left on the very bottom. So this is the tail right here, and that's my work yarn up here, and I'm going to continue passing my stitches to the other hand here. I'm finishing, I'm almost done with my first row here. And 
and here I'm done with my first row so this is what it's gonna look like the very last one you can tighten it up as well as the other ones but it's still working it's still okay and I'm gonna start doing the same exact same thing and pass them to the other hand I know it looks a little messy at the very beginning but believe me this is gonna turn out great And here I'm just uh, finishing my second row here so this is how it starts to look like at this point you start to see really the effect and I'm just gonna start on my very third uh, row here so I'm just gonna start doing the exact same thing and just putting it back on the other arm Here I'm just finishing up my third row of stitches right here and this is what it should look like around this time and I'm just gonna continue doing the same thing and from here I'm just gonna go back and forth between my arms doing the exact same thing and once I have uh, enough done that I can make like two um, I can wrap it around like twice around my neck that's where I stop and this is what it looks like at that point so here I'm going to make my very last um, row of stitches my very last knitting here and after this I'm going to teach you how to finish off your scarf how to bind it so if you missed it at the beginning this uh, is here one last chance to see how we are knitting this scarf I'm just finishing off my very last row of stitches right here so after this we're going to finish it off here we go so now to bind our scarf to finish it up we are going to um, the very start here is gonna be very similar I mean it's gonna be about the same so I'm just gonna do that start kneading just like a regular kneading and here is our second one but so what is different is that you're going to stop at two stitches and what you're gonna do is to take the stitches that is closer to your body and you're going to put this over the first one and let go and then you're gonna pull up your work yarn and try to tiny it up a little bit and we're gonna make the next one the next stitch and the same thing you're gonna do two by two so take the one closer to your body pull it over and let go and pull up the work yarn 
and we're gonna do the exact same thing until we are done with all the stitches. should start seeing that back here is starting to look like that you know starting to look finished Okay, so here I'm just on my very last stitch and we're going to pause here okay we're going to stop here and you're going to take so this is what it should look like at the end so you're going to take your hands off this very last loop and you want to keep that loop like that okay and we're going to take the work yarn making sure that we still have that loop right there and we're going to cut the work yarn like this and we're going to pull this through that loop and this way it's going to lock our design so it's not going to be undone so i'm just gonna make sure it is tightened and i'm going to cut the excess off after that Okay, so here since we're going to make an infinity scarf, we're going to use here the inside part. So this is the right side, I mean the out side, and this is the inside of our scarf. So what are we gonna what we want to do here is to take both ends and we're gonna try to sew them together, making sure that it's on the inside out. So we're gonna use the tail to sew. And it's gonna be a very, very basic sewing. You're just gonna put them together like that. You're gonna see that you have like little holes that you can go through. And we're gonna do a very basic sewing here. It doesn't have to be perfect, really. Something like that. So I didn't do like a very great job and mine turned out so good. I know that this might seem a little hard, might look a little hard to do, but it's really not. So it's something that you have to at least to try to see um, how easy, how quickly this goes. And it looks so good. The results are amazing. And at the very end here, um, once I'm done with the sewing, I'm going to just turn it on the right side. And this is what it looks like and then you are done with your infinity scarf um, so this one like I said it gives like two um, I can wrap it around twice around my neck and it looks great so yeah I found this very simple very easy to do I'm sure that if you give it a try you're gonna be very happy with what you did um, so yeah, if you like this tip, please don't forget to rate and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye!